It has been probably a solid month since I posted any kind of an update video or anything at all around here. I have been just exceedingly busy doing all kinds of crazy things. Um, where do we even begin? I don't even know where to start. There's detritus laying all over the place, as you can see. I mean, there's just <laughs> there's bits and bones all over. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Well, we can uh, we can pick up here uh, on a project which is in the works but hasn't gotten very far yet, which will be my Model A sedan, which I am planning. And yeah, I know. And uh, my Model A sedan currently is this. This is my Model A sedan. There's not much to see yet. I've got this old Chevy pickup front end, and I've got an S10 rear end, and the steering box, and some other random bits and pieces in there, and a whole bunch of sheet metal that will eventually become a Model A sedan body. So that's that's my Model A sedan right there coming up. But I think it needs some Miracle Grow or something because it hasn't gotten very far at all yet. It's just kind of laying in the truck. Now these are my chopper <laughs> which I haven't gotten very far on yet either. <laughs> I am trying to find the perfect engine to build around and I have not yet found it yet but when I do these will become a chopper eventually someday. Um, as you all know I am a writer and I do write books and I've got some books up on Amazon for sale and all that cool stuff there. One of my books is called The Virginia 10. I have recently begun trying to get turned into a feature length film. And I've been working my butt off trying to find shooting locations and get the screenplay finished. Because there's a producer who is looking at it and he says before he will even say yes or no on the project, he needs two things. He needs locations to shoot at, and he needs a screenplay. And if I can get him both of those two things, then he will probably commit to the project. So that's what I, it's one of the things that's been taking up a lot of my time. If you notice, there's lots of, lots of the sheet metal laying around here, and bits, and, and snips, and cutters, and things like that. And I'll show you guys why that is. I picked up all that sheet metal from work for free. How you doing, Scrappy? You doing okay out here? Good to see. You. Good to see. You. Good, good. Good job, Scrappy. Keep it up. Scrappy is being re-engineered. I'm having nothing but trouble with this front end on this thing. So I am currently re-engineering this whole front end of this car in my mind and on some drawings and stuff and next spring there will probably be some pretty serious surgery going on on Scrappy so Scrappy's sitting here and Scrappy's all kinds of forlorn and de despondent and depressed and everything but that's I, I want Scrappy to be a safe vehicle and Scrappy right now is not a safe vehicle Scrappy right now is I believe the correct term would be death trap so until I can get that front end to work properly and do what I want it to do, or redesign something completely different for Scrappy. My first Scrappy is going to be because I don't want to kill somebody. <coughs> it's no fun when you're cruising down the road and you lose your brakes and you can't steer and all kinds of crappy shit goes on, so we're working on that. Frank and Chuck, on the other hand, well, Frankie's just cruising all over the place and having a ball. No problem stops, drives, turns, and all that cool stuff. So I'm all kinds of happy with Frankie. Well, my uh, <clears throat> project I'm currently killing time on and having a good time with is, is the wife's project here. She wants something to take to car shows that she can sit in and cruise around and go with the cars. So I said, well, babe, how about a little go-kart? And she said, that's awesome, okay, cool. So then I started building a go-kart. You know me, I can't just build a go-kart. I've got to build something completely from the ground up and from scratch and do it my way and 
I decided to build her a little roadster. And I got the back half of the roadster body done back here on the frame which I have designed. And I've been working on that. And it's more like a Model T style body than the Model A style, because the Model A, of course, is nice and flat and stuff going back here. But I decided to go with the Model T style here so I could use this old boat seat. And that boat seat sits up right inside there. I got a little Honda six horse that sits right inside here with a jack shaft that goes out that wall and spins that tire over there so that you can move and all that cool stuff. We've got engineer brakes and all that. And we got our steering all done. These are 54 Chevy. No, 54 Dodge. These might be, oh no, these are S10. These might be S10 tie rods off of a, uh, they're not really tie rods, they're um, stabilizers. Stabilizers off of a torsion bar. And that's what those are. They're kind of cool. <laughs> my, uh, a little fake suicide front end that I put on there and all cool stuff there. Kind of having fun, built the steering wheel. But that's that's coming up. I'm having a good time with that. Problem with that was is motor. I had all kinds of issues with the engine. I bought this little engine down here. And it was the little engine that couldn't and didn't. And it completely defeated me. So I went and I got a completely different I got that little Honda engine and I'm going to use that. So that's cool. And all kinds of fun there. This is the, uh, all the steel and sheet metal and all kinds of cool stuff over here that I got. We had a machine, new machine delivered at work. And it came packed in this giant 10 by 10 by 12 crate made out of steel. And I asked, uh, I asked if I could have it and they said bring it home. So I brought it home. And I'm going to build that model a body out of most of this some of this some of it's going to be a new shed in the backyard too but some of it's also going to be a model a body because i got all kinds of that material so that's that's the project there like i said i've got no lack of stuff going on out here i got telescopes i'm building and telescopes that i'm fixing and oh it's just been a madhouse just been an absolute madhouse over here as you can see, there's bones laying everywhere. Look at the bones. Look at the bones. So that's what's going on over at Scover. There's a whole bunch of no good. A whole bunch of trouble. Just really, uh, really busy and really swamped with all kinds of stuff and trying to get something done and kind of going half backwards and half forwards at the same time. It's kind of a good time. So, you all have fun. Ciao.